Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and in this video we're going to cover an overview of rootless containers with Podman and understanding root inside and outside of a container. When you run a container with Podman, you can choose to start Podman as the root user or as an unprivileged user, which is referred to as rootless Podman. You can see an example Podman command which will start a universal base image container. We can choose to run this command as root, or we can run it as an unprivileged user using rootless Podman. In either case, it's the same command that we run. When you run Podman as an unprivileged user, it will automatically detect this and run as rootless Podman. So far we've talked about running Podman either as root or as an unprivileged user, but we also need to consider which user account is running the processes within the container. Container images have their own Etsy password and Etsy group files that define the container's users and groups. When we build and run containers, we can choose which users run the processes within the container. Many containers run their processes as root within the container, however from a security perspective this is not recommended. If we ran Podman as the root user to start the container, and also have processes running within the container as the root user, then these processes are running as root both inside the container and are also running as root outside the container from the host perspective. It's also possible to start the container with Podman as the root user, but to run the processes within the container as a non-root user. In this scenario, whatever UID number the user is assigned in the container will also be the UID that owns the process from the host point of view. In this example, we started Podman as the root user, but used the minus U flag to specify that we would like to run the process in the container as the sync user, which is UID 5 in the container. In this scenario, the processes will be running as UID 5 both inside the container and also running as UID 5 from the host perspective. One thing to keep in mind is that if UID 5 was assigned to a different user on the host Etsy password file, then the processes would appear to be running as whatever user was assigned UID 5 in the host Etsy password file. Let's look at a different example and suppose that we have a user named Luke with UID 4000 within the container's Etsy password file, and the Megan user is UID 4000 in the host Etsy password file. The processes running as the Luke user in the container will be running as UID 4000 both in the container and from the host perspective. However, from within the container they will show as running as the Luke account, which is what the container's Etsy password file says is UID 4000, and from the host they will show as running as the Megan user account, which is what the host Etsy's password file says is UID 4000. If we start a container as an unprivileged user with rootless Podman, user namespaces are used. User namespaces are a feature in the Linux kernel that allow user accounts to be isolated in namespaces and allow for processes to have different UID and GID numbers inside and outside of the user namespace. User namespaces allow for processes to run as root within the container's namespace, but still be unprivileged outside of the container's user namespace. For example, the root user within the container's user namespace can kill other processes running in the container, but it doesn't have access to reboot the host because it's mapped back to an unprivileged user on the host that doesn't have access to do this. In this scenario, we are running Podman rootless as the Brian account, however the processes within the container are running as the root account in the container's user namespace. The user namespace maps the root account within the container to the Brian account on the host. When running Podman rootless as an unprivileged account, you can also run the processes within the container as a non-root account in the container. This is referred to as running rootless Podman as non-root, and from a security perspective, this is the best option out of the four because running Podman rootless from the host point of view is one layer of defense, and running the processes within the container as a non-root user offers another level of defense. In this example, we're starting the container with Podman and telling it to run as the sync user account with the minus u switch. And so from the container's point of view, the processes are running as the sync user with UID 5, and the user namespace has a UID map file that maps this sync UID 5 back to a UID on the host, which in this example is 100,004. UID maps and user namespaces are covered in much more detail in part two of the video. As a summary, we have four different options for how we can run containers. We can run Podman as root, and within the container we can run the processes as root. Or, we can run Podman as root, and within the container run processes as a non-root user. Or, we can run rootless Podman as an unprivileged user, and within the container run processes as a root user. Or, in the most ideal scenario, where we run rootless Podman as non-root, where both Podman is running as an unprivileged user and the processes running in the container are also running as an unprivileged user. Next, we'll look at these four scenarios on an actual RHEL 8.2 host. In the upper left, we're logged in as the root user with UID 0, and we'll run a container named root outside root inside. We'll then start a shell within the container, 
And you can see that from within the container, we are root with UID 0. We'll run a sleep1000 command and exit back to the host. From the host, we'll run a ps and grep for that sleep1000 process. And we can see that from the host point of view, the process is also running as root with UID 0. So in this example where we ran podman as root to start the container and the processes within the container are also running as root, you can see that the processes show up as running as root both in the container and from the host perspective. Let's now compare this to how it would look with rootless podman. In the upper right screen, we're logged in as the unprivileged Brian user account with UID 1000 and we'll run a container named useroutside-rootinside and then we'll go ahead and start up a shell within the container. From within the container's user namespace, we're running as root with UID 0. We'll run a sleep2000 command and exit back to the host. From the host, we'll run ps and grep for that sleep2000 process, and we can see that from the host point of view that the process is running as the Brian account with UID 1000. This is because Podman created a new user namespace for this container, and the root account within the container's user namespace is being mapped back to the Brian account on the host. In the lower left, we're logged in as the root user with UID 0, and we'll run a container named root outside user inside and specify the minus u option to run the process in the container as the sync user. We'll then start a shell within the container, and within the container, it's showing that we're logged in as the sync user with UID 5. We'll run a sleep3000 command and exit back to the host. From the host, we'll run ps and grep for the sleep3000 process, and we can see from the host point of view that the process is running as a sync account with UID 5. Note that in this example, the sync user has a UID 5 within the container's Etsy password file, as well as the host Etsy password file. If the UID 5 was assigned to a different user on the host, this sleep process would appear to be running as whatever user is assigned UID 5 on the host. In the lower right screen, we're logged in as the Brian user with UID 1000, and we'll run a container named user outside user inside and specify the minus u option to run the process in the container as the sync user. Then we'll go ahead and start a shell within the container. And within the container, you can see that we are logged in as the sync user with UID 5. We'll run a sleep4000 command and exit back to the host. From the host, we'll run a ps and grep for the sleep4000 process. And we can see from the host point of view that the process is running as UID 100004. In this scenario, which is also referred to as running rootless podman as non-root, the user namespace that was created when podman created the rootless container is mapping the UID5 sync user account to a different UID number on the host using a UID map file. In part two of the video series, I'll go into much more detail on how the UID mapping works between the user namespaces. Thanks a lot for watching the video and have a great day.